Today I'm going to be setting up a simple jump gate. I'll show you how to configure the ship warp module so that we can jump to another star system. I'll quickly build a scene with some sci-fi ship controller prefabs. Add our demo jump gate model. We want the warp effect to auto disengage, so set the max warp duration to 5. On the ship tab, we'll adjust the roll angle, and add the ship from the scene. On the camera tab, add our player camera. We could add some different camera settings for warp mode. Create a couple, in my game folder. We could also cycle between an in-cockpit and a follow ship camera view. There is an example in the Mars re-entry video. See the links below. On the FX tab, are links to our child particle systems that create the visual effects. It is easy to customize these for your own game. You can add an optional set of sound effects that use our pooling system. We'll use the events tab a bit later to modify our environment. I have a proximity component on my jump gate that will detect when the player ship approaches it. Let's add an onEnter method to trigger our warp module. We could also do this with a custom player input on our ship by calling engage or toggle warp. Back on the warp module, go to the events tab and add an on pre-engage event to hide our city. We'll hide the stars too. After the warp is disengaged, we'll want to make some changes to the stars to show we're now in a different part of space. We also want to re-enable our ship, turn off gravity, and give the ship a bit of boost. We can't wait to see what you'll do with this in your games. Give us your thoughts in the comments below. Support us on Patreon to help us create more content, and thanks for watching.